In today's video, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. I'm going to make a tool, and I'm going to try and make a bow saw. Um, so I'm not going to uh, spend ages explaining what a bow saw is. You'll just be able to see it at the end of the video. But what I'm going to make it out of, I'm going to make it out of this old piece of fence panel, a piece of pallet wood, and an old blade from my handheld miter saw. I'm such a wobble, I just keep things like this in case they come in handy. And well, it should come in handy. Right, and also what's interesting about this project, there are no power tools allowed. No drill, no screwdriver, no jigsaw, no electric sander, no table saw, no lathe, no bench grinder, nothing like that. I have to do this all by hand and really, I'm quite excited about this, so I think let's just get started. The first thing to do was to remove the majority of the paint from the fence panel. And I just did this with my number four smoothing plane. I could then rip the pieces down to width. And again, I just did this with a hand tool. I used my hand saw to do this. And there's something oddly satisfying about finishing a project and you know you have not used a single piece of electricity. Then I could make sure that both of the pieces were at the same width. And again, I used my hand pump. I could then work out what uh, dimensions I wanted the centre stretcher to be. And once again, I used a hand tool to cut this down. I also had to rip it down to width too, but that took quite a while, so I won't show you that. I could then mark out some joints that I'd have to cut, and this would allow the centre stretcher to fit nicely into the arms of the saw. I cut down the sides of the joint with my tenon saw, and then once all those cuts had been made, I used a chisel to remove the rest of the material from the joint. Right, so there are obviously two sides, um, this is the one that I just cut the joint for, and then this is one that I made earlier. Um, so the blade needs to be able to slip into the wood, so I need to cut a slot into there like I've done there, and then I need to drill a 6mm hole, obviously, with no hand tool, so we're just using uh, this brace, um, so then we can lock the blade in with a bolt, so we'll just go and do that now. Then I could cut the slot into the arm and I just use my tenon saw again to do this. Right, let's see if this fits. Yeah, it just pushes straight into there nicely. And as I've already said, I'm using a tenon saw to cut these grooves because the tenon saw um, blade is just a little bit wider than the um, miter saw blade that I'm using. Then I could use my bit brace to drill the hole that would accept the bolt. Then I could start shaping and I used my spoke shaven to do this, but then I did also use some sandpaper just to refine uh, the shape and get it to a nicer finish. I could then start assembly and I used the bolts to attach the blade to the arms then I could attach in the centre stretcher just with glue and I clamped it until the glue had set then I could loop some string around the two arms and then tie a knot in one corner just to make sure that the string would not come undone so this is the saw just out the clamps and I've also added two little screws on each side because there's going to be quite a lot of pressure put on this brace. Now, at the moment, um, I'm not going to test it because I know it won't cut that well. So, gadget of the day, a lollipop stick. And all you have to do, you have to put it through there, through there like that. And then you just have to start twisting it. This is um, apparently what you're meant to do. 
twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, and then you have to just leave it to sit on there, like that. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Right. It just fell out of there. So, I made myself a saw. Even better, the saw cuts, and I guess that's all really you can ask for. Uh, there's a little bit of flex in the blade here. It hasn't got a completely straight cut, but um, I guess it is handmade, and it was handmade using no power tools at all, none at all, um, and just in an afternoon. And I'm just really blown away at how well this uh, this turned out, actually. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just super happy with this. Um, as ever, if you have liked this video, and I have really liked this project, please feel free to like and subscribe. And also, you can go and check out my Instagram account. There'll be a link in the description to that. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll just see you on my next one. And I'll just put a couple of pictures um, at the end so you can see this beautiful saw in all of its beauty.